What's going on, fellows and fillies? Some Tennessee sports news that's probably really not even news to you guys anymore. Admiral Kirkland Jr. and Darren Schofield will both be returning for their senior seasons as Tennessee volunteer athletes. Admiral, of course, a linebacker for the University of Tennessee basketball team. And Darren, the do-everything for the Tennessee football team. Basketball team. So anyway, I intentionally say this to you to see how many people have been busy doing this in the comments section saying, BBD, dumbass, you got their names backwards. I know I got their names backwards. I did it on purpose just to see how many people would go typing. So go ahead and hit the backspace button or edit or whatever and get rid of those comments because I tricked you. Anyway, yeah, that's that's some news. Junior, Junior Kirkland Admiral, after talking to assistant basketball coach Jeremy Pruitt, decided that indeed he probably should return for his senior season as opposed to being a knucklehead transferring somewhere else. And Admiral Schofield, of course, the private first class volunteer football basketball player, said after last season that he was going to sniff around the NBA and see what's up, and like a wise man, decided to come back for his senior season. Now on to some local, as in local YouTube news. A couple of fellows that watch my videos, and I watch theirs, have made some recent comments on my videos, and I would like to address them. Well, only one person made a comment on a video. The other one made a video. And let's talk to that. Let's speak to that video maker, sports video maker. That's debatable. One Mr. 6.5 Camel Toes says that he hates fat people. Now, hate is a very strong, very vile word. And my suspicion is that he made that video with one particular person in mind, or maybe every fat person in mind, I don't know. I just found it very ironic that a man with the myriad of, myriad, with the myriad of issues that that young man has would get on video bashing any other human. So, Mr. Bob Toe, I think you should make a video retracting that statement and apologizing to all of those fat people that you may have offended. Because us skinny guys, you know, hey, it's not for us to be offending fat people. Because I love fat people. Fatties are my babes. And another video maker who is more of a commenter lately. One Mr. Uh, Lizard Gator down there in Augusta, Augustana, Maine, which is just a few miles north of Augusta, Georgia, made the comment that I should take the vol out of my screen name because I have given up. Clearly, Mr. Scaly Skin Gator, I have not given up. He's making this comment because I make so many videos about my local Greenville High School athletics team and I don't to to this day I don't understand why I catch such grief about that but that's okay you guys keep dishing it out and I'll keep administering back handed reversible avengeful revengelated silly stupid big comments because when your teams have won state championships in three different sports in the same academic year, and that is a state record, the first team to ever do that, the first school to ever do that, 
that's big news. And those kids who work their asses off all year round deserve some recognition. And I'm going to give it to the 13 and a half people that watch these videos of mine. So, how you like me now? Hmm? So, yeah, just a little bit of news for you. Not really news, like I said, just some Tennessee stuff to talk about. I'm I'm smelling a I'm smelling at least seven wins coming this fall for Tennessee football. At least. Tony Barnhart of the Atlanta Journal Constitution says that Tennessee will win eight football games this year. And why not? You know, last year they greatly underachieved, so why can't they flip the script and greatly overachieve this year? Why not? Why can't they? Teams do it every year, I tell you. Now, we know it's going to be a tough task for the old volunteer football team because they've got a dandy of a schedule this year. Starting off with the Big 12's West Virginia Mountaineers, and I just, that don't even sound right coming off of my tongue. The Big 12 West Virginia Mountaineers, now. Anyway... West Virginia, Tennessee has long been a dream matchup of mine in football because of my stepdad being an alum there. I've been to a couple of games there when I was younger. And he always said that if Tennessee and West Virginia played in football that he would take us. Well, he has gotten too old now for that and cannot go to football games anymore. And uh, I'm still going to try to go this year although I doubt it, because I know what's going to happen ahead of time. Tennessee's going to win by 20 points. Mark it, book it, skin it, pat hand it, whatever you got to do. Tennessee, 31. West Virginia, 21. You're questioning my math, aren't you? That's the halftime score. The final's going to be 41-21. Yeah. Go Vols. Humpty Dump. Y'alls. And Camel Toes. Come on, man. Eight? You're still young. You could end up fat. 